Scotland manager Jock Steen had made no secret of his disappointment with the display against New Zealand. He promised there'll be no gifts this time. For half an hour, Scotland were as good as their word. They even shot Brazil by taking the lead with a splendidly struck goal from Dundee United's David Nery. This time, however, Brazil did not need most of the match to pull themselves together. 33 minutes to be precise, Zico was the deciding factor. The Flamengo club of Rio had originally thought he was too small and skinny to make the grade, but they gave him a chance, along with extra exercises and a special diet. The investment had paid off for Flamengo, now it was paying off for Brazil. Zico not only scored their first goal, but he drifted through midfield like a shadow the Scots couldn't touch. Gradually, he and Socrates brought all Brazil's exuberance to the boil. Three minutes into the second half and centre-back Oscar came forward to head Brazil into the lead. After that, try as the Scots might with substitutes and tactical changes, the question was merely how many. In the end, Brazil settled for four. Not only were Zico and Socrates bubbling, so were midfield partners Toninho Cerezo and Paulo Roberto Falcao. So were the attacking fullbacks Leandro and Junior, central striker Serginho and left winger Eder. Suddenly, Brazil looked potential World Cup winners. 